interesting uh, video, something different. And so I thought I'd make a video. So you just saw that uh, we ran to Home Depot and this is the door we are installing. It is the Anderson window and doors, a luminaire retractable screen door. Here's the size. So it's for a 32 to 36 inch door and we have, um, I believe our door is just shy of 36 inches and the, eight, the height is 80. This is what we are going to install for our front door. So this was all done with uh, interior uh, trim paint. Um, I do have some exterior door paint that I'm going to paint the other side of this door. So that is going to be a project for another day. So this door has to be um, wiped down and cleaned up and then it will be painted. Um, but what I'm interested in is putting a screen door on this door. And then that way um, we can have it open during the winter uh, or you know anytime I want to hang a wreath um, you can kind of close your door and your wreath is visible but when I want to open this door and allow some extra light into the house and to get a cross breeze from the back patio door through here um, and then you know some air down to the lower level we can actually have a screen door here without actually having a screen door. So that is when, and I'll just show you the outside here, and then all of this is gonna all get cleaned up and um, get a fresh coat of white paint as well. So this is where we are going to install this, um, this retractable screen door. It is supposed to be an easy install. And so that's why I thought I would do a video and I would actually show you guys if it's actually as easy as they claim it is to install. Um, 30 minute e easy install. <laughs> so we will see. So Matt went to go get his drill and we're gonna open up this box and um, we're gonna get to putting this screen okay. on. So there it is out of the box. So you get your main piece here and this can be uh, installed for left or right hand doors. You get your second piece here. Then you get your, that's your foot piece. I'm going to take it, that's holding. your top and your bottom pieces, yeah. right? This is uh, holding, probably keeping the screen because this is the retractable part. Yeah, there it is. So the top okay. has the same locking tab. Okay. And we're going to take this piece that goes on the A side, so that's the A side at the top corner, and we are going to slide that in the same way, and then that tab, it'll go like this, because you got the track part here, that tab will go into this piece in the 36, and lock in too, so that measures the 36 inch door. Nice. So depending on whether you have a 32 or a 36 inch, you have your locking tabs there, and then these pieces actually just slide right into the track. That way, there's no tab actually on these, um, but they just slide in uh, very similarly and the plastic piece goes inside so it's got to go inside the tab. Sorry, am I blocking your view yeah, with the camera? Okay. <laughs> no worries, honey. <laughs> I got it. So that's how that goes. Very so nice. Now the bottom is together. I'm going to pop this off so we can put this piece on up there first. Okay. And then we'll put this together and that's it. It just slides together like that. This clips on this side, this doesn't. And then it's, as you can see, it says interior right there. So this is the interior part. This will go inside. So as you can see, we also have these long metal uh, strips that have the screw holes. This is gonna slide inside your door frame and you're gonna screw right in there. Right Yep. there. So, gotcha. and it's, that's, it, that's it. It's really that simple. Very easy. Yeah. So, All right. On the, the hardness, are very colorful. Hardness, <laughs> hard scale of one to five, five being hardest. Oh no, it's like a one. A I mean, one. we've got, we're going to have, we have this metal, um, the fastener sill. So there's a little sill they can recommend that you can put in if you need the sill. Um, we do have that we, too. So. And if we need that, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and record that. But other than that, it just shows you putting the door up and where to screw into the 
the mounting surface where to drill. It gives you actually it gives you a little drill bit too. Yeah, it gives that's you a one eighth really inch nice. drill bit in that the in really the kit. Nice. It comes in the little bag. All right. So yeah, well, that should be it. We'll, we'll uh, I'll show we'll show you as we get it get it going. Okay. okay huh. So it's actually not the same day. We actually had to stop what we were doing because we ended up getting a storm. <laughs> it came through, and so we kind of had to shut everything down and uh, and buckle up the house. We ended up with eight inches of snow. So it is the following weekend, and actually Matt had had to do some. I had to stop anyway because I needed the tool. Uh, yeah. As you can see, I had to cut. The trim here um it, there's no it wasn't any getting away no way getting around it because the door is 80 inches this part is about 75 i don't know something like that but anyway you need three quarters of an inch for your insert for your door here and i needed to cut this so we could get it inside so i used the dremel multi-max mm45 it's a five amp uh, cutting tool it basically has a it's an oscillating tool so as you can see it goes side to side it's got a uh, it's called a quick lock so you unhook that that comes up and then you just lay your blade in you lock it and it's done and you can switch it out it's got sanding tools it's got a metal and wood wood it's got grout it's got everything so it's kind of a cool little tool i've never used it before we thought about going cutting the bottom but that's got a metal plate on it so we decided to go up top it was easier and that's what worked so after working on the trim <laughs> and getting that done and having you know, much nicer weather <laughs> yeah. now it fits nice. so now it fits in and you can come in here you need to come in three quarters of an inch. Now it's not always going to be a perfect fit, but this is where you install the screws here. Oh, up there, okay. Here, down below. So three screws right into the frame, boom, 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 and it's installed. Right down there. And then you back up. And I already tested, I closed the door, but pretty much There does. is the screen. And I got to hold it so it doesn't fall outward on you. And that's it. So you can have your door open and have your screen. And and it's got a little lock on it, looks like. Yep, it's a little lock. So you can lock it. So you can walk away from it. So anyway, just so you know, these are 80 inches. And depending on your door, now if you have a if you have a flush, uh, if you have a flush door with your house and you don't have trim and stuff like this, you might be able to slide it right in with very little work or no work, but I had to do a little bit of uh, work on there so yeah a little bit of remodel <laughs> <to make laughs> but all this fit. all is all of this is getting repainted anyway yeah. along with the front door so up here to kind of seal this up to make sure we don't get a bunch of water that goes in and behind or inside the wood there yeah um i'm gonna put a some fill in there or something caulk it whatever i need to do but this is staying this ain't going anywhere yeah so this is going to be a permanent part of the house until we's gone <laughs> That's the way it is. All so right, it, so it, it works. I'm gonna let you I'm finish it up. This, yeah, I'm gonna sand a little bit of this to make it smooth because there's still a little bit of wood and okay. it's rough. But I'm gonna sand it for you so you when you cut when you paint it, it doesn't look so rough. Like so that. when he's done with that, I'm probably going to clean up this door and paint this. We're, we're gonna have yeah. Too bad we don't have the, a pressure washer. Yeah. That would just. I know. Anyway, <laughs> next project. <laughs> All right, so I'll let you uh, install that and then I'll bring you guys back when it's all. I've had this, what, 20 years probably? <laughs> but yeah. it's, uh, it's one of the old school 20 <laughs> volt, but it really works very well. I know. So anyway, they give you the drill bit. Here are the screws. They actually give you the bit, the screw bit, and they give you the drill bit to drill the holes. So, you know, I've got the, whoops, sorry. I've got the keyless chuck, so you just hold on to it. And it, you hold it to lock it. And it clicks a little bit and you're good to go so I'm holding this in flush all the way so I know it's gonna this is where I'm drilling my hole and that's where my first screws going literally if you didn't have to modify it and we didn't have to stop because of a, this is snow, all we'd be of doing. a snowstorm this literally would be up in like they said 20 30 yeah minutes. I, mean, I mean literally it it'd be quick. less than 30 minutes it was quick actually it was really we put quick. it together we put you put it together in like five yeah and was... then if it fits in you put, you screw it in like 10 yeah like, so it'll be and like a done. 15 minute job yeah it's so. it really easy there 
is the screen door in. I love it. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but the door has now two coats. And um, I'm gonna put a third coat on and that should do it. Um, as it dries, it's starting to look a little, you'll see it's a little patchy, but. So, that color, by the way, is called Black Mocha. Uh, it's a bear paint from Home Depot. I absolutely love it. It's the same color we did the trim. Um, and I also did uh, our bathroom cabinets. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Um, actually, you know what? I'll just I'll add in pictures at the end of um, some of the things we've been doing. We painted upstairs this, um, I think it's called Coliseum Marble. Yep. And we got rid of this dark gray here. Like this gray, um, it's on that wall and it's on this big wall, but it was also on this wall. And then on that wall, um, it was green. So we kind of just lightened it up, but um, I'll add photos of our before and after pictures. Um, but I am loving this and I'm also going to be doing the mud room i have paint for that room and i'm also doing the uh garage door into the mud room this the door is the same color um along with we have another out door um oh look at we can use the screen um we've got another outdoor that outdoor garage door right there that's also going to be turned um the um black mocha so once um once the door is dried i'll go ahead and probably i need a new i need like a summer wreath <laughs> but i love it so anyway um i hope this um helped anybody who was in i know many of you told me that you were interested in getting a screen door for your house I'm in mean, the same thing. You know, I didn't want a traditional screen door where it had the frame and then, you know, the the metal down below. I just wanted I wanted to I wanted it to be all open and airy, airy and I'll show you what it looks like up here. So, it'll it'll be really nice airflow back through the kitchen to that door wall and our big window there. I think it'll just let a lot a lot more air in so really happy with how it turned out baby did a great job and super easy so for anyone who is in the market of a screen door um, this one 20 30 minutes tops and you should be good so yeah yeah if you don't have to resize your doorway <laughs> anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I will go ahead and insert some before and after pictures of some of the um, just the spring updates you know we're in this house now a year and um, you know we've lived in the space and we're just kind of um, changing it a little bit and you know adding some things as we go um, now that we have lived in the space for a while and kind of know what we want to change so anyway all right I hope you enjoyed this video all right, talk to you soon, guys.